But also, too, I was really like your scenes were so and this is what's great about you and, and your scenes is they're so real, like you're not faking and you can tell. And I remember like there was scenes that, like you would like cry at the end, like oh, yeah. orgasm. And it was like, ama- I mean, it was so and I am not moved by much <laughs> because I've been in the industry for a long time. I have seen so much I'm like numb inside. But I remember watching those and like not feeling turned on because I'm just not turned on by anything. Yeah. Um, but just they're just never feeling you just like never get turned on ever. Never. <laughs> <laughs> feeling connected. Like, I don't know. Feeling connected with you with that experience, like uh, seeing you experience that and having that rush of emotion connected to an orgasm connected to sex. I don't know. There was something like inspiring and awe inspiring about it. It was really, it's kind of it annoying impressive. because a lot of people, like I get a lot of like shit for it. Yeah. Like, and like, I, I'm a crier. Like, if I have a bomb orgasm, I cry. I don't give a fuck. Judge me. Like, <laughs> it was good. So, when I did my showcase, like, I cried after, like, my Eric scene. Yes. And Eric has this gigantic Christmas tree penis. And so, people thought that, like, he was hurting me. Yeah. And a lot of people were, like, commenting, like, oh, my God, she's crying. She's in pain. She's miserable. Like, you're raping her. And I'm like, excuse me. No, I fucking am crying because I just had a mind blowing orgasm. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, and same with kink. Like, every time I shoot for kink, I usually cry because it's a lot. Like, it's emotional and it's yeah. like an experience and a release. And, like, same thing. Like, well, she's crying. Like, oh. I'm like, it's a good, like, crying can be good. Didn't you do a whole movie with kink where you, like, kind of. They trained you to love the cane. Yeah. I love this story. So tell us the story because this is really an amazing journey of BDSM, which I, I was fascinated by. Um, James, uh, I always forget his last, the director James, not performer James. I always forget his last director name. Anyway, but uh, he shoots for kink. Um, he does Training of O, which is awesome. I don't know if they still are doing it, but um, he would take your biggest fear and like over the course of a few scenes like get you past it and like he had this really good success rate about doing it so like if someone was afraid of the dark that she would like do this like bdsm journey to like get you over the afraid of the dark and like all this stuff so i had heard about it and like i had a really bad experience when i first got in the business um and i was doing fetish scenes with a cane and um I, like, could not, like, so when I started shooting for kink, like, they wanted to use a cane on me. Like, you could not bring a cane in the room without me fucking losing my mind. And I'm talking about, like, kicking and screaming and, like, lo- like losing it. And um, I forgot who, I think he noticed it. And then, like, I had been heard about, like, his training bow thing. So I approached him and I was like, you know, like, it's really annoying that I have this fear of it. Because, like, I know that I'm acting like a lunatic. Mm-hmm. Like, I know I'm overreacting. I know... I can see that this is something that is like unrealistic. Like I need, I want to get past it. And, um, he was like, yeah, like let's explore. Like he's so cool. He's like, yeah, let's explore it. Like, let's like do stuff and like try to get you past it. <laughs> and I was like, cool. Like I was super jazzed. And so, um, we did four, uh, scenes and like we, there was a lot of planning and we talked a lot and there was, it was hard. It was really difficult because, uh, kink is very like strict. Like if you're not okay with something, they are not going to do it. They're not even going to ask you twice about it. So mm-hmm. like before every scene, we had to talk about like what was going to happen, like what I was okay with, like, you know, like the mental aspect of it, if it was right. too much. And, um, I went from in four scenes, not being able to be in a room with a cane to, uh, to like, I would, <laughs> the first scene I shot, they brought it in the room and I was screaming bloody murder so loud. They weren't hitting me with it. They just had it in their hand. They weren't threatening me. They were just holding it in front of me. I was screaming so loud. Other directors came running into the room because I thought they thought I was being like brutally raped. Oh my God. And I was like, like that, like gross scream girls do yeah. where it's like gurgly. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. what I was doing. So I went from that to the last scene being uh tommy pistol hit me 10 times 11 times with the cane and i didn't cry wow i didn't even like shed a tear it was the coolest because now i'm okay with it like now i've gotten over the fear and like um it was amazing and like that's what's so cool about porn is because things like that happen like i would never be able to do that if it wasn't for porn 
It's like such a therapeutic experience. I mean, that's so crazy. Yeah, it was cool. It was really, one of the scenes. I laughed when you brought it up because one of the scenes Ramon was in. Because like that's the other thing. It's like, okay, what performers are you okay with? Yeah. So then it was like how to be like the performers I felt safe with and right. then the environments I felt safe with. So I was like, I, you know me. I'm like, I love Ramon. I love Ramon. Like, I yeah, love, all love Ramon. Ramon. He's like, I just love, like, I just love him. And um, <laughs> I'll he, never forget it, ADN, <laughs> when you got really drunk. <laughs> And it was so, Danny is the cutest drunk. Like, I'm a disgusting, sloppy, gross drunk. But Danny is the most adorable drunk. And Ramon and I had to take her back from the club. And Ramon had to carry her to the casino back. And the whole time she was like, I'm in so much trouble. Because I don't, I'm so like rare. Trouble. I'm ever, it's really rare. And then I'm he drunk like in tuck, person. He like tucked you in bed and like stayed by the bed <laughs> to did. watch you for a while to make sure you were okay. It was really sweet. It was really, he's really, he's just a good human being. Yeah, he's great. Um, So... <laughs> like I just laugh every time I think of it because Ramon has this really thick accent and so he was <laughs> saying like the cane he's like yeah. the con the con <laughs> so all I can think of is like the plane the plane <laughs> and so like every time he would do it like I just fucking crack up with like the con the con <laughs> why are you afraid it's just a stick it's just a stick it's <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the show make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.